He's not the father to the children. Okay. Yes. So he's just able to abuse power and um, have multiple parties lie and scheme to deprive me of my rights as a parent for two children. Okay. And then the other one is terrified, experienced some things, and so I'm isolated from a lot of parties and deprived support from these groups and organizations. Okay. So, but today I'm reporting that all this chaos has gone on and I just don't understand why I can't get law enforcement anywhere, period. Okay. So Isn't that a crime to deprive a citizen of law enforcement? Uh, well, I guess it depends on exactly what the situation is. Everything's very... Out of you know, criminal activity. Right, Can so, you find out? Because police so, don't want me to know. Okay. So, so I, I just want to know. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get to I want to okay. know today. Right. I know. So I'm, been... try, I'm trying to get to it. Okay. So okay. you live in Dallas and if a lot of these things have occurred in Dallas, you have to report it to Dallas PD. Okay. I, as a non police officer, can't assist you with anything that happened up in Dallas. Um, and so that may be where some of the... Well, sort of I did report is. that a situation was going on with my cell phone, and then I also tried to get help with women. They claimed it was women called Moses, and they're okay. depriving me of services. Can you investigate to see why that organization in Duncanville would when deprive me? When did this happen? Me? It's been happening for a while. So can you call them and see why they don't want me to get assistance? Call women call who? Women call Moses of organization. Okay, so I can't force any organization to provide well, can, services. Uh, well, conspiracy to violate civil rights is a crime. That okay. is a crime. Okay. So if, again, are you denying me law enforcement again, today? Because I don't understand don't why I keep wasting time. And so I can't assist you with something. That it happened in Duncanville. Okay. That's where the crime was happened, in Duncanville. Where were you at the time? Um, in Duncanville, trying to get service with women called Moses. Okay, so the location is here? in. Yes. Where is it? Um, they have a P.O. box listed at 7-Eleven. Okay. But I mean the ordinance. Seven Eleven. What do you mean? Uh, Seven Eleven Cedar Ridge. Oh, at the post office. Right. Okay, so we can't use a post office box as like their location because. They right, don't... but if you could like find figure out why I haven't been able to get services from the police department or multiple different uh, locations, even restaurants. Okay. What? Well, because okay. conspiracy to violate civil rights is a crime. Okay. Targeting someone out of so corruption any is business, criminal. Any business is allowed to. So are you denying service. me law enforcement today? Okay, like I said, nothing that you've told me about today has happened in Duncanville, so I can't provide you services. Are you denying me law enforcement today? Because I can't, some, I can't even help you if I wanted to. Because nothing you. Um, nothing the, my phone has been hacked, and my cell phone provider covered for it. Like they, like I was trying to communicate with AT and T when my phone got cut off. Uh huh. Right. So right. are you covering for the crimes or are you trying to... Okay. Um, why would the advocate prevent me from getting assistance? Because I was trying to go to Women Call Moses. Right. Okay. So in terms of... Ms. Clark. So in terms of going to... Can you find out if deprived of someone from law enforcement since you're a police? i like for to find out today since I've been deprived of law enforcement for years if that's criminal. So I can wait. So just find out if a police... I don't need to find out. Okay. okay. What I'm trying to tell you is that... Oh, I want to know if depriving of a citizen of law enforcement out of corruption... Happened in Dallas. If is is depriving okay. a citizen law enforcement out of corruption criminal? Depriving a citizen of law enforcement. You will need to make a report with Dallas PD. Is that criminal? All right. In order to are you general affairs. Are you trying to evade that minutes. question, sir? Okay. No, I'm, I'm trying to direct Okay. You so how you can get it first done. off, first okay. off, one moment. One moment. Is what's your badge number? I'm ten Two zero eight. Okay. okay. Is depriving a citizen of law enforcement criminal? I'm trying to explain to you, Mr. Just Parker, answer, sir, yes or no, because I don't know why right, multiple Dallas parties. Okay. I want to know is okay. depriving a service, citizen right, of law Ms. enforcement Clark, criminal? I've, I've helped you as much as I can. Okay, I have other people who need. What about start, the right? crimes of um, yeah, my tomorrow, phone tomorrow. issue? So they just do this to waste time. The domestic violence advocate advocate has a uh, information and he's did not, not give it to me. Not wasting time. He answered your question. Then he has the gang stalkers come in here and be abusive. I'm not a gang. I'm not a gang at all. He's answering your question and you keep cutting them off. He's telling so you these these, the these are multiple parties in involved in these conspiracies. Multiple parties, nothing. You tripping? So that's how they can have a person sit in here and do this and stop trying to see what I'm doing while I'm sitting here in the police department. If I'm calling someone or doing something, that's why at 7-Eleven that man said, was able to mistreat me when they were depriving me of services. So that's how when in jail, they can set up someone to assault me. This is a lot of power and abuse that, um, that they're able to continue to get a, a lot of power. They're able to abuse and get away with it. We have still haven't filled out, figured out why the victim's advocate is denying me services as well. So they had me sit here all this time to, for the police continually to cover for the crimes. I, that's how why I feel powerless.